projectile motion. In this lab, you will be firing a ball out of your ball launcher and trying to get it to land on a platform at the other end of the table, a longer distance than demonstrated in this video. Once you can consistently get the ball to land on the platform, by using carbon paper, we will be able to measure exactly where the balls land, and we will be able to figure out the range of the projectile. Once we know the range and the angle of the launcher, we can calculate the muzzle velocity of the launcher. Knowing the muzzle velocity and the range, we can calculate the trajectory the ball must take, and we can test that trajectory by placing two rings such that a launched ball will travel through the two rings. To do those measurements, we will use a two meter stick, which is level at the height of the ball and the height where the ball will land. We can use that to calculate our X positions. Using a plumb bomb, we can see the exact X position of the ring. We can use another meter stick to measure the Y position of the ring, and we can place the two rings so that a launched ball will travel through both of them. A couple things to keep in mind when you are doing this lab and taking these measurements. For the range calculations to work, the landing pad must be the same height as where the ball comes out. So we will be using the two meter stick and a level to do that. But if you put the two meter stick so that its wide side is up, the two meter sticks can get a bit of a bend in them. So we want to make sure to always be using the thin edge up on the meter sticks so there isn't that bend. Similarly, since this is effectively height equals zero, when we are placing our rings, we will want to remember that this is height to zero, not the tabletop. When you are firing the balls, you want to be using the middle position of the ball launcher, which is when you see the yellow launching platform in the middle position, not when the ball is lined up with the middle position. That would then be the long position, and the ball will be far too fast for our measure. Thank you for watching this video. Here's a fun fact. A plumb bob is named for the lead weight hanging at the end of the string. In Latin, lead was plumbum, which is why someone who builds things out of lead might be called a plumber.